Any statements, remarks from citizens? Yes, Chairman, I'd like to speak. Thank you. My name is Pamela Hendricks. I live at 1151 Thornwood Drive, Watkinsville. And I just wanted to go on the record as opposing the purchase of the Dolphin property. Um, as a member of the public, it just appalls me that in this real estate market, we might consider paying 50% more than appraised value for a piece of property. Um, I know that, you know, the argument is maybe that, um, you know, it's going to come out of a different fund. It's going to come out that you lost money. But I want to tell you from my point of view, it's all my tax dollars. It doesn't matter. Property tax, um, I pay about $250 a month to this county, and I'm happy to do it. But I want you to be really careful with my money. And I just don't think in this market, just because someone wants a certain amount for their property, if this is not the market that you just give them what they're asking, what I really ask you to do is negotiate this price. And I want to tell you that I even think the county is in a very strong position from a rental standpoint. I mean, there's not going to be a bunch of people lined up to rent that property. Um, so I have a house in Madison where I used to live that I have to rent. And you know, I've had a drop in rent. Um, in 2007, I started out getting 1500 a month. I now have to take 1250 a month. Um, rental rates have gone down. I, I want the county to realize that you are in the powerful position. You are the buyer in a seller's market, in a buyer in a buyer's market. You're, you are the one that can control the bargaining. And I just ask you to please very carefully negotiate this. Um, I, you know. I've looked at the tax assessed value and I think it's using 150,000 an acre um, on the land. I, you know, I think perhaps the tax assessed value might be a little bit high. So certainly paying 50% more than the tax assessed value would not make any sense in this market. So I just ask you to strongly consider very carefully negotiating for the development property. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Hendricks. Um, just, uh, just a clarification on one one item. With your, uh, uh, we appreciate your tax payments. Uh, Seventy-two percent of your uh, tax bill goes to support our school system, and we're we have a good school system. And just want to uh, clarify that that uh, twenty-eight percent, twenty-seven percent uh, winds up in a, in a county portion. Of that. So thank you. Very much. Other comments. Chairman, I'd like to address the same subject. Is this on? Yes, it is. Okay. My name is Mike Fowler, and I uh, addressed my comment to this a, a week or two ago at the meeting. But I just, uh, you know, want to say that if you have to buy, and I agree with this lady, don't know her, but I'm glad she was here. Her points were well made. If you have to buy in this market, please do not pay a premium to buy. The rental rate that we're paying is a premium. I, I saw where we're, uh, we've leased it for five years. We've invested four or five hundred thousand in it already, and we have nothing. What I would also say is, we don't need to renew the lease, whether we buy it or not, we don't need it any longer. We can at least temporarily get by with the annex and all the spaces down there. Uh, the rental rate's too high. There's, there's commercial vacant space all over this county that we can use. Uh, we're not adequately using those buildings over there now, uh, simply because they don't have the business they used to have. So I'd like to say that, um, well, has there been an appraisal done on the property outside of our own county employees tax assessor's office? And I understand it's 40 or 50 percent less than what you're talking about paying for it. Has there been an appraisal, Mr. Chairman? No, there has not been an appraisal. Okay. Well, certainly we wouldn't buy this property and pay that kind of premium without an appraisal from an independent uh, accepted appraiser. So I think that's another problem. Uh, the thing is, if we have to have it, and I understand the part about we might can use it in years on down the road, I understand that. 
that property will still be there and it can still be bought. Mm -hmm. But the fact of the matter is the value of that property has been going down for the last three or four years. I don't see anything that's going to keep it from going down next year. So whatever you pay now is going to be worth less next year. And if you start out in a hole of 40 or 50 percent, you got a big hole to dig out of. How many years is it going to take? There's going to be plenty of property around this courthouse we have to have it later. The economy we have now. It's, it's as the lady said, you know, it's, it's the buyer's market. Cash is king. So, um, just because somebody says they won't take any less, I'll assure you, if it goes back on the market, it won't sell for a million dollars. It won't lease for $8,000 a month either. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Brown. Any other comments?